Hello and welcome to another one of my cult movie reviews. As this is being uploaded on the Mother's Day weekend here in the UK, I thought I'd review something with a mummy theme to it. So, prepare to walk like an Egyptian as we experience a close encounter of the third kind in the 1982 alien mummy pick, Time Walker. A group of archaeology students from California are on a field trip to Egypt when a freak earthquake uncovers a hidden burial chamber inside the pyramid they're studying. The chamber contains a sarcophagus which appears to be untouched, so they bring it back to their university in the United States for further study. Now I'm pretty sure that in real life that this wouldn't be allowed as uh, the pyramids and all the contents within are actually property of the Egyptian government, but anyways. Whilst that's around the body, one of the students discovers some hidden gemstones which he immediately pilfers and flogs to his friends. However, it seems the radiation from the x-ray machine has had a peculiar effect on the mummy within. As shortly afterwards, we've got a mummy walking around, terrorising the people on the campus and in the surrounding town as it attempts to recover his stolen gemstones. But this is no ordinary mummy. It turns out that it's actually some alien, and it needs the gemstones for some device that it's got that will allow him to contact his homeworld. The only problem is, the mummy has got some green fungus growing on it that will envelop anybody that touches it, as a couple of unfortunate students happen to find out. And so, whilst the university staff are trying to work out where their mummy has gone, the doctors are trying to fathom out what this green fungus is that's killing people and the police and campus security are trying to work out who's been attacking the students. Released back in 1982, the film was basically a modern day, well, early 1980s reworking of those old mummy movies from the 1940s, but with a science fiction twist. The film was released the same year as E.T. the Extraterrestrial, which appears to have had an influence on the writing. Both films being essentially about a stranded alien that's trying to build a device that will allow him to return home. It's also worth noting that the film Creepshow was also released this same year, which also featured a story about a man being enveloped by a green alien virus. Now, I'm not sure which film came out first, or if either one had an influence on the other, but you've got to admit, this was a hell of a coincidence. Cast-wise, the lead actors are largely made up of unknown actors, though cult movie fans will undoubtedly recognise Darwin Joston and Austin Stoker from Assault on Precinct 13 as well as James Caron from Return of the Living Dead. Sharper-eyed viewers will also spot Warrington Gillette, who played Jason in the second Friday the 13th film, who also has a minor role in this. Overall, the film is quite enjoyable. It does have a sort of made-for-TV feel to it, though. However, it was apparently given a theatrical release in the US. The ending did set things up for a sequel, but no further films were ever made. In the UK, it was released straight to video by Guild Home Video, and was also shown on television here a few times. In the 1990s, it was also shown as part of the Mystery Science Theatre 3000 series, under the title Being From Another Planet, but otherwise this film has been fairly hard to get since the early 1980s. The good news though is that it's since been released onto DVD in the US as part of a full film collection pack, which can be purchased online relatively cheaply. Now the film is basically a cross between the uh, old teens in peril format and those old monster movies from the 1940s. It's not particularly bloody and uh, it's not exactly what I would class as an action film. For the most part you don't even see the mummy all that much as um, when it's stalking about it's either shown in either abstract form or from a first person perspective, until the big reveal at the end that is. But the film is still quite good fun, so uh, if you like these old mummy movies, then this one is definitely worth a watch.